right so we were speaking about this uh, sociology how it was being seen by different people in your uh, sociology syllabus paper 1 there is a thinkers portion okay and that is what is the most important of all parts in sociology that is the thinkers portion in this we have five thinkers main thinkers and one thinker was added in the year 2008 that thinker was called as g h mead so five thinkers and the first thinker we'll be seeing is emil durkheim he speaks about how society is everything okay there was a question asked in 2023 it says that the society is more than the sum of the parts whole is more than the sum of the parts that was the question which was asked that was the question whole whole is more than sum of parts whole is more than sum of the parts this question was asked in 2022 means 2022 means this question was asked whole is more than the sum of the parts durkheim was very much speaking about how society influences the individual society has so much of influence that it tells individual to die and the individual will die society tells you die individual will die that is what is his work called as suicide there is a topic suicide he writes a book on suicide lay suicide is the title of the book in that book he very clearly tells us that the individual is committing suicide because of society you think that a person is uh, committing suicide because that person failed in neat examination last year how many of you remember this case a girl from e road okay she went to delhi for upsc preparation in the month of february after the notification came she was just seeing what was her preparation in the last one year and she was not convinced that she had substantial preparation she thought that she will fail in the examination and she started thinking if i fail in the examination what my parents will think because so much they have trusted me that they have sent me from erode to delhi so much my father was spending money so much we were you know tirelessly um, tirelessly uh, other people are working competitors are working so what i have done i have done nothing so if i fail in the examination it is a social shame everybody will laugh at me everybody will scold me why be alive fail in the exam better die and not write the exam she committed suicide so she didn't commit suicide because she if fails in the exam will not be able to realize her dream job called ias she didn't commit suicide because if she fails in the examination she cannot go in the government car she killed herself because she thought that if i fail in the examination everybody will laugh at me everybody will laugh at me so it is the laughter by the society that is the reason for the girl to commit suicide fear of society a student of me was telling me sir i have not told this fact that i am preparing for upsc examination to my even parents even to my parents i am not telling why because if i fail in the examination they will uh, disrespect me 
If I fail in the examination, they will disrespect me. So therefore, this is a secret mission. Like intelligence bureau, which will work secretly. My friends, my students. Uh, in the same batch, some five, six students, they wrote the IV examination and they cleared IV examination. And when they came to see me, they are telling about the secret operation, which they used to do. They are not revealing the details, but they are telling that we will go stand in the place as if we are the beggar, like beggar, like auto driver. He was narrating something which uh, is like cinema. Sir, we used to do this. Like that secret mission, I am preparing for IAS examination because if it is revealed to the open public, open public will see me. All public will see me. When the result comes, they will ask me if I fail in the examination, it is a social shame. So let us not reveal our preparation in this examination. So fear of failure, not because you lose IAS, but because you will be laughed by you, by society. So this is what the sociology of Emile Durkheim. Emile Durkheim influenced many people. He influenced many people. One such a person is Radcliffe Brown. Influenced. So Radcliffe Brown is basically anthropologist. A British anthropologist. Anthropology and sociology is different. In the sense that anthropology is study of small society or small group, small tribe. In all possible details, small society will be studied by anthropology and sociology studies modern society. So anthropology is there in sociology and sociology is there in anthropology. That is why one, his name is Krober. A.L. Krober. He says, Sociology and Anthropology are twin sisters. Sociology and Anthropology are who? Twin sisters. A.L. Krober says, Sociology and Anthropology are twin sisters. So, one such anthropologist is this Radley Brown. He is looking at society. Two persons are there. How these two persons are connecting to each other based on certain do's and don'ts. Two persons are talking to each other, teacher and student. A teacher is supposed to speak this thing only to student and the student is supposed to treat the teacher in this way. So there is a proper way in which we both will have to talk to each other. There is a proper way in which both of us will have to talk to each other. Which means that there is a pattern present and we have to follow the pattern. There is a pattern present and we have to follow the pattern. So at the interpersonal, interpersonal means two people. At the interpersonal level, there is a pattern. What husband should speak to wife, what wife should speak to husband, how children should talk to parents, how parents should talk to children, there is a pattern. We have to follow the pattern. So when there is a do's and when there are do's and don'ts in these two with between these two people, when there is a pattern present. Pattern can be called as what? There is another term which you can use for pattern that is called a structure. Structure. Pattern means a structure. A 
A. R. Ratley Brown speaks about structure. That is pattern. Sociology of Durkheim also is speaking about pattern. So pattern means something which is regular, something which can be predicted, something which is routine, that is what is pattern. Something which is predicted, something which is routine, something which is regular is what is called as pattern. You are telling that UPSC this time prelims pattern changed. Last time prelims pattern changed. When students came out of the examination last year, 2022 prelims, they said that prelims pattern changed. How? Because one pair correct, two pair correct, three pair correct, all pair correct, no pair correct. One statement correct, two statement correct, three statement correct, four statement correct. Like that, a new thing they have added. Earlier it was statement one, statement two, two one and two, only two and only here. Two pair correct, three pair correct like that. One statement correct, two statement correct like that. So, a new thing they have added in the 2022 question paper. And that new thing which was in the 2022 paper say 10 questions were belonging to that category. Now that all questions belong to that category. So, in 2024 problems also will have this one statement correct, two statement correct question. A new pattern they developed till 2010 or 12, A and R type of questions were asked. Assertion, assertion recent questions were asked. Assertion recent questions were asked till um, 2012. But subsequently, assertion recent type of questions were asked, were not asked. Now that old pattern started, assertion recent type of questions are asked in 2023. So, when something is regular, it changes. You say pattern is changing, which means something which is regular is called as pattern. If that is changing, it is called as pattern change. Earlier pattern, when it comes to economic transaction, was what? What are the earlier pattern of economic transaction? Barter exchange. Barter exchange, you know. Uh, what uh, you have, what I have, see, you, I wanted a pulse, you wanted rice. The pulse which you wanted is with me, the rice which I wanted is with you. So, we will come to the market, you will give what I wanted, I will give what you wanted and that is what is that, barter exchange. Then subsequently, what happened, I have pulse, you have rice. But we wanted, say, coffee powder. You go to that person who is selling coffee powder, he is not wanting rice, he is not wanting pulse. So many people have many things, but what they are having to give that, they wanted something which is in common, which can be exchanged. Getting this point or not? I have rice, you have pulse, we will exchange that as barter. Now, every one of us sitting in the class, they have something. Okay. But we have something which is not with us, we, it is there somewhere else. It is, it is there somewhere else. If you go there, he says, I don't want your things. Now, what is the solution left out is we'll have something in common for exchanging. A medium of exchange we will develop. 
you give that common medium of exchange, you can take whatever you wanted. That common medium of exchange was shells first. Shell. Shell. So I will not give the product to you. You will not give the product to me. I will come to you. I will give that shell. You give the product. I will go to that place. I will give the shell. He gives that product. So there is no need for me to carry the product to get what I wanted because what I carry to get that product, that person may not want which I have. So shell came for exchange, medium of exchange. Then, subsequently, gold, silver, coins came. Coin is so heavy. Currency note came. One small paper, 2000 rupees worth. Coin they have minted, 100 rupee coin they have minted. If you wanted to take uh, 2000 rupees worth, 100 rupee coin, 20 coins you have to take. 20 coins weight this much will be there. Can you put it in the pocket? No. So paper currency is very easy. Fold it, keep it, go. That paper currency also they have taken out of circulation. What to do? So the point is that there is something in common Earlier the pattern was barter exchange, then the pattern was shell, then the pattern was coin, then the pattern was currency note. Now the pattern is now the pattern is what? Which coin? Bitcoin. Cryptocurrency. Pattern is changing or not? Which means regularity. Something which we are we were using in regular, that is what is pattern. That pattern, regularity is changing means what is changing? Pattern is changing. If pattern is changing, what is changing? Society itself is changing. You go and ask your father whether he easily, he easily can talk to his grandfather, with his father. Your father will not talk to your grandfather. They will maintain so much of distance. Father is telling something. His father, grandfather, your father will listen. He will not counter question and all. Now you... Your father is asking one question, you are counter questioning 10 questions. He is asking one question, you are asking 10 questions. Pattern is changing or not? So now father is like a friend. I see in some ice cream parlors or in some this thing, uh, Starbucks and all, all these places. The son and the father comes like friend. You know, father also is wearing dress like son. He is also wearing shorts, father. Son is also wearing shorts. He is wearing a very trendy t-shirt, both father and son. By seeing this person, you will find that one is little bit aged, the other is not that so aged. So I come to a conclusion that this is father and son. Can you expect this type of uh, dress before 50 years? So pattern is changing. Now that all the boys are coming with the dhoti and the girls are coming with sari to the class. Suddenly I'll ask, is there anything? So the dress is having a pattern and the pattern is changing. The food is having a pattern. You go to McDonald and ask for Curd rice. Siripa. What you ask? Curd rice. Go somewhere else. We have burger, we have this thing, we have that thing. Alien Olaya Matagdu. A dental, a dentist, a dentist was telling me he is having so many children who are patients having this jaw problem, this problem. The, here there is a problem. They have some pain here. Children. He is having so many ch children as patients having this problem. Here this is paining. He was just seeing these small boys, girls. 
and he was wondering why these patients are this type of patients are coming more then he realized that these children are eating burger in one bite like a hippopotamus it is opening the mouth you know four layered burger பக்கத்துல ஒரு கடை இருக்கு டவர் பர்கர் வச்சிருக்கிறான் பாருங்க அஞ்சு லேயர் ஃபைவ் லேயர்ஸ் அப்ப யுவர் மவுத் வில் ஹவ் டு பி குக் லைக் ஹிப்போபோட்டமஸ் children mouth is expanding and how they are chewing இவ்ளோ பெர்சா இஃப் யூ புட் இன்டு யுவர் மவுத் how you will chew you will have to put so much of pressure in this portion this portion you have to put so much of pressure and children with difficulty bite 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 and they do this chewing how much stress they are giving to this portion and they do this repeatedly here they pain they experience pain in this portion so he says that don't give this burger and all to children because it will definitely spoil their jaw bone understood so this is a new pattern children now they don't like any children any child you go and see in the restaurants today appa is asking what you wanted of son is telling small boy 10 year old 10 year old boy idli abina you will see that this fellow is a deviant fellow he should say some pizza burger all these things so the choice of the food is having a pattern which also changed now this pattern in the relation between two persons is what is emphasized by ratcliffe brown he was influenced by who emil durkheim so pattern if you emphasize if you emphasize that there is a pattern then you should be called as structure functionalist you should be called as structure functionalist structure functionalist you should be called as structure functionalist he is malinowski he was also influenced by durkheim he was the first person to use the term functionalism now tell me what is functionalism what is functionalism a part is there it is having a particular function there is another part there are another part there is another part all the parts are there for example human body is a whole okay it is made up of many parts heart is there kidney is there liver is there brain is there it is having many parts each part is performing a function brain is performing a function called as thinking heart is performing a function called as circulating the blood liver is performing a function kidney is performing a function lung is performing a function which means the work of heart cannot be replaced by kidney the work of kidney cannot be replaced by lungs the work of lung cannot be replaced by liver the work of liver cannot be replaced by brain so every part is having a particular role and all the parts put together the body is good structure functionalism therefore says the whole is having parts which are interconnected interdependent 
and each part is performing a role. Only that part can perform that role. No other part can perform this role. Only that part is performing that role. No other part can perform this role. Okay. Have you understood? What you have understood? If you have understood this, you are simply very great in sociality. <laughs> because what I am telling is, after six months of sociology, they have an understanding now. That understanding I am expecting from you. But if you say, yes sir, whatever you have said, it's not that thing which is very difficult, it's very understandable. Sociologically, you have become matured. Now, somebody is asking, what is structure functionalism? Tell me. Tell me. Your roommate. I am your roommate. I am asking you, where are you coming from? I am coming from pre-foundation sociology. What sociology, sir, has taught you today? He taught me structure functionalism. Can you tell me what is structure functionalism? If you tell correctly, at this stage, you will be definitely the grandchild of Emile Durkin. You can proudly say that he is my tata, grandfather. Purunjar Chana, structure functionalism. Tell me. Structure functionalism is not like this marker, which you can take it, you can hold it, you can do like this, this, that. Structure functionalism is an approach, a model, a mental model. Structure functionalism is a mental model. So it is imagination. It is an imagination. It is having a whole, it is having the body is a whole body, having many parts and each part is having a particular role to play. If that part performs that role properly, then it is a good body. Every part is performing properly. Pakka. Heart is doing a particular function. Pumping of blood, 100%. My grandfather, who is 90 years old, he asked me that he has to see the cardiologist because he is getting aged, so he wanted to see the functioning, functioning of his heart. No bigger complication at all, but he wanted to see his health status because 90. So I took him to a cardiologist. And the cardiologist was telling, heart is good, properly it is functioning. And he is asking, Tata, can you remember what happened yesterday? He is able to tell. Then he is asking, are you able to eat food properly? He says, yes. So he says that the vital body organs are intact. What it has to do, it is doing that. So, grandfather, body is okay. So, heart is doing a particular function, it is doing. Kidney is doing a particular function, it is doing. Liver is doing a particular function, that is doing. Brain has to do a particular function, that is being done. So that that part is doing that that role properly. So the body is perfectly fine. He gives a certificate. Tata ko oru problem illa. He is fine. So the doctor is treating every part not in isolation but in connection with the other part.
because the body parts are wired the body parts are connected to each other the body parts are wired it is connected to each other if there is some problem in the heart it will reflect in kidney if there is some problem in the kidney it will reflect in liver if there is some problem in the liver it will affect the lungs yes or no because these parts are connected to each other this connection can be predicted or not how one part is connected to the other part can it be predicted or not how one part is connected to the other part can it be predicted or not it can be definitely predicted how this part is connected to that part how that part is connected to this part kidney is connected to liver how it is connected liver is connected to lungs how it is connected lung is connected to brain how it is connected can be easily predicted or not because your particular circuit is there in your body your proper wiring is being done by the divine force it seems when you have this light on when you have this ac on when you have this fan on when you have this big monitor on you see that it is able to work because there is some sort of wiring which has been done which is being concealed through this since false sealing is being done that wire system is concealed but there is a particular wiring being done or not this is connected to here here it is connected to there there it is connected to here proper connection has been made or not electrician comes he says i told him see you put here bulb here which sometimes i am seeing i am i am being very dark on the video screen give some extra lighting focus he came he saw here he saw here and he said sir wiring cannot be done i asked how without even seeing the inside you are telling that wiring cannot be done he says that sir here it is means it is going only here it will not come here it is going here means it is not going to come here linearly they have taken the connection straight you see straight you, this way you see that way you see in between and all there is no connection trained electrician so he is able to tell the connection properly sir what you are telling is not feasible you are telling to put the two lights here focus light it is not possible because the wiring connection is in this way in this way not in this way it is in this way in this way in this way it is vertical not horizontal how you can tell sir i am a trained electrician 25 years experience i can say like this wiring which you can easily predict like this wiring which you can easily predict there is an inside wiring between our body parts which is also predicted this wiring is predicted by the electrician the inside wiring is predicted by the doctor so every expert is an expert because he is knowing the structure the pattern there is one pediatrician who may know they will bring the small children to him small child they will be brought by the mother he will tell the mother to lay the baby on the examination table he is doing nothing i am also standing he is doing nothing just seeing the baby he is seeing like this right what is the problem after seeing for a while then he is asking what is the problem the mother says this boy is not eating food for the last the last last 3 hours 
he got irritated but he didn't show the irritation he kept his hand in the belly of the baby and he was doing like this and said it seems he has swallowed something he was shocked எப்படி உங்களால சொல்ல முடியுதுன்ற ஹவு யூ கேன் டெல் லைக் தட் இ சேஸ் தட் தி பிரீதிங் ஆஃப் தி தி ஐம் சீங் தி பிரீதிங் பேட்டர்ன் தேர் இஸ் சம் அப்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் இன் தி பிரீதிங் பேட்டர்ன் அண்ட் ஐம் சீங் வேர் தட் அப்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் ஹேப்பன்ஸ் ஐம் இட் இஸ் இன் தி நியர் தி யூ நோ பைப் லைன் ஐ எம் சீங் தட் தேர் இஸ் சம் சார்ட் ஆஃப் யூ நோ டிஸ்கம்ஃபர்ட் ஃபார் தி சைல்ட் அண்ட் இட் இஸ் நாட் ஏ ஹார்ட் திங் விச் இ ஹஸ் ஸ்வாலோட் இட் சீம்ஸ் இட் இஸ் வெரி குவைட் சாஃப்ட் ஓன்லி so he is giving some medicine it will be cured go so his experience is able to predict the pattern this way the beat is felt in the belly of the baby the beat heart beat is felt in the belly of the baby so it seems that there is some sort of trigger element happening here which means that there is some sort of obstruction the child is having here and the obstruction nature is itself nature itself is able to see the obstruction is not that so hard obstruction it is only a soft obstruction so just to go i am giving you a small syrup you just to take you see tomorrow morning if it is persisting you bring the baby to me experience he is seeing the pattern present in the breathing of the child in the beat of the child so i am telling you that if you have to be an expert you should be able to decipher the pattern present you should be able to predict the pattern if you can predict the pattern you are an expert if only pattern is present you can predict pattern means there is something which is fixed something which can be predicted something which is regular something which is regular only can be predicted something which is irregular cannot be predicted understand something which is regular only can be predicted something which is irregular cannot be predicted for example monsoon you can predict because it is regular monsoon can be predicted it is very regular you can easily predict that by the month of october november there will be heavy rain in chennai in tamil nadu which monsoon it is north which monsoon it is october november you are getting rain which monsoon it is north east monsoon and that north east monsoon rain will be there in only tamil nadu or where it will be will it be in other part or it will be in the this part only coastal part so you can predict the farmer is able to predict this october la rain should come after rain november we do harvest we do sowing of the seed march we used to harvest june we will sow the seed before rain that is before october we will do the harvest so a farmer is able to do the sowing and harvesting because he can understand the pattern present in the nature he is able to see the pattern present in the nature rain rainy season november rain october we should do harvesting after harvesting land will be free only rain will come the water flow of the water flow on the land will give fertility to the land so after the rain is over we will do this sowing and then we will be harvesting in march april may heavy heat will be there on the land heat is needed for the fertility of the land two months of summer heat on the land and the farmer says april may there should not be rain there should be excessive heat on the land heat of the land is good for the fertility of the land okay heat of the land is good for the fertility of the land then there will be what june they will sow the seed september they will do harvesting november rain is needed for the land november december january they will do sowing of the seed march they will reap 90 days crop this is what is done in the areas in my areas 
so a farmer is able to predict the pattern of the rain is able to predict the pattern of the fertility of the soil so which means that if you have if you say that i know it it means that you know the pattern pattern is something which is regular pattern is something which is predictable in fact the most difficult concept is what i am teaching now the food which you are eating is having a pattern or not morning how many of your in you know, how many of your houses morning they give you full meals in how many of your houses afternoon they give you dosa in how many of the houses in the dinner they give full meals so morning idli dosa afternoon full rice night dosa or chapati this is pattern present in the food you can predict something means it is having a pattern yes or no if you can predict something it is having a pattern so how this pattern is being studied by himail durkin how pattern is being studied by ratley brown and pattern studied by malinowski also functionalism tells that what is function function is positive contribution function is positive contribution if it is doing something positive to the whole its function so function should be seen in the light of what the whole i function of i is to see function of ear is to hear function of brain is to think so seeing hearing thinking and all will give positive contribution to the body so a particular part is offering a positive contribution to the whole of the body then it is called as function so function is something doing good i'll simply put it this way i told in the earlier class also there are two types of perspectives one is conflict perspective another is functional perspective it's like uh, dharma and uh, duryodhana dharma says that he is going around the world and he comes to his guru duryodhana dronacharya and says everybody is good duryodhana goes around the world comes to his guru dronacharya and says that everybody is bad so the one who is seeing the positive contribution is called as functionalist which means that he will not see the negativity in that he is like a upsc aspirant real aspirant see only positives in the examination i'll become ias i'll become ips i'll go in red light car i'll have big bungalow i'll have everything this thing that thing he will not see anything negative and conflict theory is what negative if you fail what will happen if you don't get that what will happen so functionalism of parsons durkin functionalism of malinowski functionalism of ratley brown sees positive contribution of the part to the whole sees the positive contribution of the part to the whole so we have clubbed durkin ratley brown malinowski in one single folder because all emphasizes on what all emphasizes on positive contribution of what to what of the part to the whole father is breadwinner of breadwinner of the family is earning money bringing to the house mother is managing the house children nice children studying properly 
so this family is which family good family because father's role he is doing properly mother's role she is doing properly children they are doing their role properly so this family is a good family or not which means that what is the role which you have that you have to do properly your student you have to study properly your mother you have to take care of family properly your father you should take care of the family properly so every person in the family is having a role to play if they follow if they practice that role if they perform that role properly then it is good for the family so as a functionalist i am dirkim what i will see good father perfectly is doing what he is supposed to do good mother perfectly doing what she is supposed to do good children perfectly doing what it is supposed to do so i am who i am who i am functionalist all fathers will do this particular role only all mothers will do that particular role only all children in every family will do that particular role only whether it is ambani family or it is adani family or it is our family in every family father will do this function only mother will do this function only sister will do this function only brother will do function only now what is the perspective of me i am emphasizing on structure functions because all fathers all mothers all brothers i am emphasizing on what pattern exactly so i am who now structure functionalist because i am thinking about the pattern all same function all will do this function all will do that function i am who structure functionalist okay your friend is uh, celebrating his birthday his birthday is today everybody will wish birthday will give birthday wishes to the friend that is a pattern or not so i forgot to wish and another friend called me and told you have not put the birthday wishes to you, our friend he will feel very bad you also put the message happy birthday message so i typed and i put in the whatsapp group so everybody expected that everyone in the group will have to say happy birthday to this person so this is what pattern so on birthday everybody will have to wear most of us will wear new dress or not on the birthday most of us will wear new dress that is what pattern only you go to the marriage the boy will in south india the boy will wear silk clothes dhoti shirt and the girl will wear silk saree pattern only when marriage is fixed they go to the silk saree showroom to buy the silk saree to the they have kept in the shop itself you go to the shop selling the silk sarees they keep bridal set brides saree for bride only they are having a set so you go there in that counter there will be a young girl surrounded by many for this girl marriage is fixed so for her they are coming to buy the saree so this place it's fancy this place it is traditional this place it is for kids this place it is for men formal informal one person was asking me in the showroom sir which one you wanted formal or casual or party wear one full set for party wear one another full set for formal wear another full set for casual wear they used to say you have to dress up to the occasion 
dress up to the occasion. If you go to party, you should wear party, party wear. Should not come in formal. Going to a birthday party and wearing a formal suit, coat, tie and all. Don't be happy. Don't be happy. So you have to dress up to the occasion. So this dress will have to be put in this place. This dress should be put in that place. If you go to marriage, many of your parents would have told you, you wear a black color cloth. You wear a black color cloth and go get ready for the marriage. They, she is not ready. Mother is not going to support this. She says, well, we are going to marriage. You are wearing black color. Go. Black is not auspicious. White is also not auspicious. Pure white, mother will not allow the girl child to wear. Pure white, no. Pure black, no. And now you wear yellow color, mother says. Good. Mangal Agaramaradi. So color also has a pattern or not? A particular meaning or not? February 14, February 14, through the color of the dress, people, they tell whether they are committed or not. I was being told, on Feb 14, if you wear green color dress, it means this. Where is color? Hmm. Black means what? Hmm? On Feb 14, wearing black color dress communicates what? Hmm? Love failure. Hmm? Failure. One told that uh, if you wear uh, green color, it means committed. Black color, failure. Brown color, Open invitation he is making. I am not committed. Okay, anyone can approach me. Single. Enna single? Morata single. Ipo. <laughs> Color is given a pattern or not? Color is given a particular meaning or not? So, color is having a pattern. Okay. Food is having a pattern. How you should talk, that is also having a pattern. When Graham Bell invented telephone, Graham Bell Dhanapa, when he invented telephone, there was a debate. When you take the receiver, put it on your ear, what should be the first word you have to utter? When you take the receiver and put it on your ear, what is the first word you have to utter? Graham Bell told you, simply tell Graham Bell, because I only invented that. Graham Bell, one another person told, we will not tell your name and all. Hello? That is even today, you put the, you take the phone, you put it on your ear, what is the word which you say? Hello? All of us say hello only, no. Suppose if very known person like father or mother, ah, Solunga pa, Solunga ma, but other than these two known people, hello, this, when you put the, when you, when you, when you use the cell, uh, telephone, what word you should utter first? It can be predicted or not. You go to America. What is the first word we they use? They speak when you when they speak in the phone. Hello, they are also they are also hello only. No, really. Hello, Angiya and Napa. In America also hello only. In Africa also hello only. In Germany also hello only. In Uslambati also hello only. But hello is the word which you have to utter first. Pattern or not? So, whether it is the word which you have to use first, then last, what is the last word you use? 
you go for a speech nandri vanakkam thank you hello class is over i am going i am telling hello you get confused inna hello nrar thank you so what word you should utter first what word you should utter last pattern thank you is the word which you have to speak last hello is the word you have to speak first or good morning is the word which you have to speak first you see the person you see the person on the day you say thank you kolambirwa why thank you what i have done to you hello i going bye you go and say bye now you confuse people now okay after the class you confuse people you go okay you go to your room your roommate will be there no bye you tell inge velila pora pol irukku na he thinks you are going somewhere else you sit there you said bye you should go somewhere else. no i simply said bye while going out instead of saying bye he, you say hi he is confused so you know this is what is pattern so there is always present in society something which can be predicted the function of a part can be easily predicted the function of your part can be easily predicted how two people will talk to each other can be easily predicted how two group will talk to each other to each other will be predicted how men and women will have to talk that also can be predicted or not the girls are not supposed to mix with the boys in the classroom i happened to see in one of the colleges i went to give a, a seminar on what to prepare for upsc examination in that seminar after the seminar was over i was finding something which is very strange after i have finished my talk the professor came and he told first girls can leave boys you don't leave girls should leave all the girls left he was seeing his time after 15 minutes he says now boys can leave <coughs> and uh, i was just asking sir why should you say first boy girl should leave and boys thereafter and that to 10 minutes gap he says that it will take 10 minutes for the girls to go to the hostel ladies hostel girls hostel they'll go i am asking suppose some girl is not going standing in the middle what will you do i checked properly i got a phone call from my person there that all girls have come to the hostel then only 10 minutes i am giving boys can go separate entrance for girls separate entrance for boys in one college and the girls will have to go after the college is over 20 half an hour before the boys 3:30 girls will have to go 4 o'clock only boys have to go in that to separate separate uh, entrance because that is what the pattern present in the college so every if you have to go to temple you break the coconut coconut open breaking the coconut is what there in temple i saw in one of the uh, tvs that there is one uh, temple near e road or somewhere salem the women women who are very much uh, into devotion or sitting in the row some 25 30 women the priest is coming opening the coconut on the head of the women prarthanaya vendal coconut is broken on the head i was seeing the facial expression of the women who is expecting the coconut to be broken on the head she closes her eyes and she is making her hands tight to bear the pain of smashing the coconut on the head some women when not only coconut is breaking head also breaks and bleeds 
but that is for God. It's a part of the ritual. So when you go there, you have to break the coconut on the head. When you come to a nearby temple, you don't need to do that. The priest will cut the coconut and give to you. In another temple, there is one machine. You put the coconut to the machine. It breaks the coconut into two pieces equally. So that that temple is having that that practice or not? Sabarimala temple, only women, men can go. Women are not allowed to go. Pattern. Now when pattern is challenged by women, how you are telling that women should not enter temple, we will also go to temple. Supreme Court case was filed and the court says women also can enter temple. And they say, no, we will not accept. Women are saying we will not go to temple. So there is only, there are some temples which are women only temple. There are temples which are men only temple. Men only temple, women should not go. Women only temple, men should not go. Each one will have their own practice. You don't interfere in that practice. Diversity includes that also. You go here, you go here. Diversity is respected now. You say you go to this temple, you go to that temple. Diversity is threatened now. So pattern. Women should not enter Sabarimala temple. It's a pattern. In that case, the Sabarimala or Devasthanam board was telling the apex court that for thousand years we were not allowing women to go. It's a pattern. And our Supreme Court order wanted to change this pattern and therefore whenever pattern is changed, there will be confusion. Always change comes with challenges. Understood? So, we have done in today's class one concept which is very, very tough concept according to many but easy concept which is very very relevant concept which repeatedly comes in the sociology that is what is called a structure of functionalism right i'll give in brief structure means pattern function means something which is positive so your whole is there every part is there in the whole which is connected in a particular way. A particular part will perform a particular function so that it is doing good thing for the whole. That is what is structure functionalism. Just recall the lecture what I have told. When you come next week, if you have any doubt, you can ask me. Okay. So, see you in the next week. Thank you.